It's a letter for you. Oh. It's from my mother. My dear son, Ollie. I was cleaning up the attic today, and in going through a lot of rubbish, I came across this picture of you and Stan and your twin brothers, Bert and Al. Isn't that swell? Can you imagine that? Our very own twin brothers. I wonder where they are. Did you get paid, Bert? I sure did. Well, as soon as we get through eating, we'll go ashore and have a swell time. All right. And come back broke as usual. Oh, I don't know. Aren't you going ashore, Finn? Yes, just as soon as I get through reading the paper. Any news? Yes. I was reading about a fellow that started with nothing, and in two years he was worth a million dollars. Million dollars. Huh. How'd he do it? A careful saving and wise investments. Just what I've been preaching to you two for years. If you'd let me save your money, you'd both be worth a million dollars like this fella. He's right, Bert. You know, when we first came on this ship 15 years ago, if we'd had as much sense then as we have now, we'd have let him save our money for us, and today we'd have been sitting on the fat of the land. Wouldn't we, Finn? Right. That's all right, but it's too late now. My lad, it's never too late. You were paid this morning, and now's the time to start. Why don't you let me hold it for you? You make the money, I'll invest it for you, and you'll be millionaires before you can say Jack Robinson. What did you say? That sounds swell to me. What about you, Al? It's okay with me, Bert. How about you, Finn? Why, it's a knockout. I think it's good, too. Yes, sir. Would Here's my say, money. Right? Say, have you seen my money? I put them here just a minute ago. Remember when you had your coffee there? I... Isn't that swell? Now we're going to be millionaires. <laughs> Say, who's this fella Jack Robinson he's talking about? I don't know. So I never heard of him. Please. A receipt. <coughs> A table for four. Yes, madam. Come this way, please. Sorry, madam, there are no ringside tables. I'll have to give you one on the balcony. That's all right. Whiskey and soda. Ooh, what's the matter? Say, now, you four guys, stay away from me. Well, we are not four guys. There's only two of us. What are you going to do? We're going to put your feet in cement. And if you don't talk by the time it hardens, we're going to throw you off the dock. Good hard now, Tiny. All right, take him out. Okay. Be careful! Oh! 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 Over you go. Oh, we can't tell you what I'm going to do. How can we tell you if we don't remember? I can't tell Maybe you. this will help you remember. No! <laughs>
Maybe somebody's fallen overboard. Come on, help me pull him up. I saw them. Certainly. You know who they are? They're our twin brothers, Stan and Ollie. What are they doing? I don't know. Come on, let's I get them up. Get a hold. Well, well, well. Hello, Ollie. Hello, buddy. Gee, it's great to see you. <laughs> Hello, Stan. Hello, Al. Well, what are you doing here? Mother wrote us and told us that you two were dead. Well, we just arrived this morning on the Periwinkle. That explains everything. They've been mistaken for us, and we've been mistaken for them. Why, say... 